Hello everyone, my name is Christian Kane, founder and president of the Tom's River Field of Dreams. I'm here to talk to you about a special project that I'm trying to build. This project, the Field of Dreams in Tom's River, basically started about five years ago when I was in a car accident with my then 19-month-old son, Gavin, uh, waiting to make a turn into a, the high school that I teach at in Tom's River. A fully loaded beer truck hit us directly from behind. I was able to walk out of the car Unfortunately, my son wasn't. He suffered what they call traumatic brain injury. Now, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know what traumatic brain injury was until the doctors told me that your son will never be the same. A 19-month-old boy who could run, jump, and cause all kind of terror with his mom basically now can't walk, can't talk, and was just lying in a bed. Doctors believe that we should just put him in a home. My wife said, he's got a home. And that's where we brought him, back to our home. Five years have gone by and he's getting better. He goes to kindergarten, um, he's active, but he still doesn't walk or talk. It's hard for us to go to any kind of park or facility because of the equipment that they have there. Gavin's getting bigger, he's 50 pounds. To get him in and out of swings or in and out of a ride isn't easy. That's why we're trying to build the Tom's River Field of Dreams, a facility in which kids can feel typical again. Moms and dads can watch their son or daughter do things that they never thought they ever could do. This project started off small. It was only supposed to be for kids ages between 5 and 12 to simply play a two-inning baseball game on an artificial turf, go to a special needs play playground, grab a sandwich or a, or a soda at their snack stand, play maybe nine holes of miniature golf on our special needs miniature golf course, and then maybe even have a picnic at our special, special needs pavilion. But it's grown. Oh man, has it grown. I've been called throughout the communities around Tom's River about, hey, I heard you're building this field of dreams. Can we be a part? The, basically, the, the number one issue is, how can we make people feel typical? Not only between the ages of 5 and 12, but people who have traumatic brain injury or cerebral palsy who are adults who are transitioning into now living a life, you know, living on their own, working a job, but they still have no place to go. Well, that's what the special needs facility is for, is for everyone to feel typical, to play, to be a part of the community. But then other people reached out. Christian, I run an organization that helps children who are going through chemotherapy and radiation with their cancer. They just can't do what they used to do. They physically get worn out. Do you think there's a possibility of us being a part of your field of dreams? Without hesitation, not a problem. The facility is built for kids to feel typical again, to get back into things that they used to be able to do. Well, to do all these things costs a lot of money, a lot of money. And slowly but surely, we're getting to where we need to be. What I'm asking for you is a simple donation, a simple volunteering of your time. If you run a company, how can you give me some material or your manpower? Any kind of connection to anybody who would be willing to help build the Tom's River Field of Dreams. After this video, there will be a few pictures of basically what the, field, the facility will look like, as well as a contact, my phone number, my email address, and our website, trfieldofdreams.weebly.com. Feel free to make a donation or call me. I will listen to anybody. I need to make this field of dreams become a reality because every kid, every adult who has a special need deserves to be typical. Thank you so much. And I hope to hear from you soon. You know, it's hard when you go to a playground and your kid can't do certain things. Well, this facility allows everyone a, a, a level playing field, hence the Tom River Field of Dreams. Why did the turkey cross the road? Why? Because Why? it was the chicken's day off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> good one, guys. Very funny, guys. Very cute. We're we'll gonna jump on the trampoline. Yeah, that so sounds the girls great. are gonna. I'm gonna take his kid walk and walk him out. Good job. Head all the way up to him. It's as simple as Mo. five years ago uh, being in a car accident with you know my 19 month old son Gavin at the time, and uh, he suffered a traumatic brain injury. Over those five years of going to Children's Specialized Hospital and, and going to therapies, we realized that there is, you know, Gavin's not the only one with a special need. There are a large population of children, not only in Tom's River, but in surrounding communities. 
how he struggles every day, but he's yeah. smiling. He's, yeah, always. Yeah. That he lights up a room. There is a need um, for a, a play area. Uh, for these kids to feel to feel normal, for their parents and their families to to see their kids, you know, um, be able to play like all the other kids.